Hello beautiful Scorpios. How is everybody today? I am glad I woke up today. How about you guys? I'm going to start shuffling here and getting right into your reading. Thank you for being here. My goodness. Ah, mm. Did I take this car spirit? No, they're saying no. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Let's see what's going on for my Scorpios in love. The cards are wanting to fly out here. I saw the Fool card. This is for my Scorpios in love. Who are they thinking about? What is their person? Who, who and what is going on with their person and also with Scorpio? So what I'd like to do is just ask very clearly, Spirit, show me please who is go what's going on with this person that Scorpio's uh, thinking about. They're saying that deck is ready. All right, I'm going to stop shuffling. Let's see. All righty, let's just see what's going on here for your person. <clears throat> oh, well, <laughs> there we go. There's your card, Scorpio. So, let me get a feel for this. Let me see here. The Three of Pentacles means a lack of collaboration, something that they were hoping would come together. Working with someone <clears throat> or thing could be work also, but um, you know, this is a love rating. But if it is work, it could be influencing this person, obviously. So a lack of collaboration about something they were holding on to, but probably holding on too tightly to. And apparently this, I feel like it's this thing they were holding on to. They were hoping for a, some kind of a, something in the 3D tangible new beginning, an offer. This is the divine's hand offering this Ace of Pentacles, which represents something in the three-dimensional world. Now we have a Queen of Pentacles, and as you know, uh, Queens and Kings are people in my readings, so this could be an offer with, and again, there's no gender in my readings. When I say he or she, that's because that's what's on the card. But this could represent an offer to someone, the Queen of Pentacles in this case, the Queen of Pentacles is someone who is very stable. She's financially stable, but also stable as a person. She often is married, and she is a very good nurturer, for example. Now, the Ten of Cups, of course, is the wishes being fulfilled card. Um, this person is making some kind of plans. Looks like they are making a choice here and that they seem to be having clarity about this choice. The moon card for me in the upright, of course, is secrets, it's fears, it's things that are hidden. But for me, when it's in the reverse, it's saying things are being illuminated. <clears throat> now, it's interesting that this tower falls right underneath this queen of pentacles. So I want to see what's underneath this tower before I speak too much, but this could be, well, let me see. The tower fueled by either confusion or somebody having too many choices, too many options. I don't know which one to pick. Mm, something, okay. The, someone, this could be someone from their past. Now, I don't know if this, we're talking about your person. So, I don't know if this is you or someone else in their life that they are reminiscing about, thinking back on the past. This is and the upright is, is about reminiscing and thinking back on the past, but in the reverse, it's almost like I can't let go. It's not a healthy reminiscing. It's something I can't let go of. Maybe they're saying I can't let go of an ending. So perhaps your person had an ending with the Queen of Pentacles and they're not able to let go of that. Yeah, and it could have been a very long-term relationship, <clears throat> this Hierophant. And again, this could be talking about you, Scorpio if you had that kind of relationship with your person. This could be you. They could be thinking about you and not, 
you know, there was a tower moment. Which tower moments, of course, are um, major upheavals. It's when the universe steps in and says, no, nope, the foundation here is not solid. We want you to rebuild. And they level everything and you have to start over. So it's it just feels very connected to this Queen of Pentacles for me. And it could be saying because your person, um, you know, couldn't make up their mind or because they were confused or they had options. But it's something they're having a hard time letting go of emotionally. And the world, of course, is the end of the fool's journey. It's an ending, but it can also mean um, cycles, not necessarily an ending. But they're having trouble letting go of some either an ending or a cycle regarding um, some kind of a commitment, a traditional commitment. They're hoping that this will balance. They're hoping for balance here and they're trying to have patience and hoping that the, for the, the Wheel of Fortune course is a very good card, it's a very positive card. They're hoping that it will turn in their favor and they can get this happily ever after. This is, you know, this is wishes coming true. This is, this is in the physical realm also. This is the perfect home, the perfect partner, the kids, the dog, the picket fence kind of an inning. They're finally getting out of their head and, and getting clarity and they're wanting victory here. There's something they're wanting victory. They're wanting victory over unhappiness. This is, um, yeah, it's, it's just, that's all I'm getting off that card, unhappiness. And now I think they've, they've come to clarity about this. All right, let's see. Well, what is this person's intentions? I want to know that. What is this person's intentions toward my Scorpio? Let's see. What is this person's intentions toward my Scorpio? Again, I don't know if that's you or someone else they were dealing with. You would know that. So if the story fits, let it. And if it doesn't, please don't force it. And, of course, while I'm shuffling here, I would very much appreciate it. If you guys like this content, you like what I do here, hit that like button. That helps support my channel. A free and easy and quick thing you can do to help tell me um, I'm doing a good job for you here. All right, let's see. Also, for you who don't know, I also do deceased loved ones readings and I have a whole long playlist of those if you are missing someone that has crossed over please check that out and I do go live and do readings online every you know a couple of weeks ish so you'll have to be subscribed and uh, you will get a notice from my community page when that's going to happen all right one more spirit, please. What's this person's intentions toward my Scorpio? Thank you. Mm. Ooh, well, that's a good sign. Passionate new beginning, all right. I mean, passionate. Emphasis on passionate there. I often get this. I've gotten this in so many of your readings lately about your person, too, that... that Mm. So I want to be clear. There's two meanings this card can have for me in reverse. Oftentimes I read it, I get the energy of it. It means someone's not done healing, and that could be true. It feels different than I usually get it. It feels like it's not upright, but yet it's, it's in other words, I think they're coming to the end of healing this, whatever this is, whatever this thing is here. They're finally getting the strength back because we've seen this the strength card in reverse a lot lately. They're getting the strength back. It looks like they very well can come to you with a love offer and bring their cup of love to you. This is very positive here. This is the card of one of the cards of communication, the Page of Swords. It can also be a little bit of spine injury. Maybe it just means they're thinking about you. They could be, you know, checking your social media. Uh, it just can be overthinking. Uh, I mean, not overthinking, but daydreaming about you. And, you know, and how, 
how they're going to come to you and give equally because this is saying balance it's telling me they want balance they want balance now the hangman here tells me this is a timeout, okay and this could be you've got so many cards here that say this person wants to bring you this cup of love and and combined with this ace of wands I'm having a hard time believing that they're telling me if after all of these cards that your person's stuck. So I'm going to say this is the hangman is in this position. He was a thief, right? A criminal or whatever. And they hung him up to enable him to get a new perspective. And I believe that's what's happening here. I'm very drawn to this sort of halo around the hangman's head. I feel like it's saying your person has gotten, is getting, has gotten a new perspective. And about what? About what they're passionate about. And guess what? Right underneath that, can you cannot make that up. Remember this card from the, we talked about it up here. There's someone from their past they can't let go of. Well, apparently that was you. So this Queen of Pentacles could very well represent you, Scorpio. So something they're passionate about, something from their past. Perhaps they were juggling and they felt a bit overwhelmed, but this tells me an end to that uh, is coming and they have clarity. I, I think though, <clears throat> they're afraid that when they come to you that you might greet them in this Queen of Swords energy. You know, she, she does have the sword up. It's not in the sheath, it's up. Now she's beckoning with her hand, come, stand before me, state your case. Uh, she has her sword at the ready. <clears throat> so maybe they're um, cautious about how you might greet them mm. because of a breakup, because this card to me in the reverse is a breakup because they've disappointed you. Yeah, oh look, right, yes. Because there was a disappointment and a heartbreak. Somebody clearly was putting up a wall here, probably regarding maybe a commitment, a home, a family situation. Maybe they were resisting. The emperor was being very, very stubborn and controlling. I think you thought, I think you thought, that's not very good. I believe that maybe. Um, there was a question about whether or not you should continue to uh, plant any seeds here and maybe the seeds you'd planted, were they wasted? Because there was nothing that was fer fertile here. In other words, there was nothing happening. There was no, um, you know, in the upright, <clears throat> excuse me, this can be fertility. I, I struggle to say that word and it's not futility, but you felt futile because there was no fertility in the relationship, bless the tongue twister, um, but this can also be creativity. So there's there's no creation, no creativity, nothing happening, I think is, is how somebody here felt. And that's what caused the tower moment. And we're right back now to, um, to where we were up here, the tower moment under this Queen of Pentacles. Well, I think that's pretty clear. It looks like, Scorpio, somebody is coming to you wanting a passionate new beginning. So for those of you who resonate with this message, I certainly hope you, uh, if you want this person back, I certainly hope that um, you get this. And I, I just, is there anything I want to ask? Is there anything Scorpio really needs to know about if this person shows up? Let me move these real quick. Do you have any advice for my Scorpios? If this person shows up, Advice for my Scorpios, please. Any advice, please, for my Scorpios? What does my Scorpio need to hear from you, Spirit? I'm saying stop. Yeah, get clarity. Don't overthink it. Know clearly what your Ten of Pentacles is, Scorpio. Know clearly. In other words, decide what you want before this person comes in. And I know we're between eclipse energies right now, but it's a very powerful time for manifesting. So I'm hearing 
be sure you want this be sure what what you want how you want that to look um, don't overthink it try to get clarity about what you want from this person and out of this relationship because you very well are going to get it this wheel of fortune says to, that to me yeah and if you don't want this in the upright this is the happy home the family the potential relationship in the marriage if you think that this is going to bring you not bring you that then you know tell your person you're not willing to invest now those cards are just repeating but it felt stronger to me just these top cards here these three cards so be clear on what you want Scorpio um, and be willing to state your case clearly like the Queen of Swords that came out um, not in an intimidating way but just clearly state your state your case state your boundaries uh, let this person know where you stand all right, my beautiful Scorpios, I hope this helps someone out there. If it does, again, please show your appreciation and hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Many blessings.